sit down and uh, welcome to Zero 2030. We uh, are read by the Wayne's World adage of if, if you book them, they will come and all, here you all are, so thank you so much. So very quickly, we just do some um, introductions. My name is Michelle, I'm part of Worthing Climate Action Network. This lovely lady next to me is Pauline Corey, she's part of Transition Town Worthing. And glamour girl down in front of us here, wave, is Francesca, Sustainability Manager at uh, Asian Worthing Councils. Um, I'd like to just uh, do a quick bit of housekeeping, so there's no fire alarms planned. In your delegate packs you do have maps and the fire exits in this room are clearly marked. It's straight through the doors where you came in, over in that corner and over in that corner. We've got volunteers with lanyards, so if you have any issues during the day, ask them and they can either help you or ask us as well. Um, I would, uh, we've got toilets, they're going to be back out the door as well and on your maps with the workshops where they're marked, they're clearly marked on there, so that's good. And um, Wi-Fi is on Asia and Worthing Councils, you just need to go through the network login page. It wasn't working for me this morning so you might have better luck on that. Um, and we're all aware of the coronavirus as well, so please wash your hands regularly do the elbow thing if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, we've got 300 people, we're at capacity, and we're all going to be talking and thinking about climate change, so thank you. Um, we've got a really tight schedule, so I'm not going to speak for very long, and we're going to get on with our day, okay? Um, I would just like to quickly thank everybody who donated to our crowdfunder to make this happen. That was incredible. Uh, Lush Funding, who basically we wouldn't be doing this without them. Um, and also the contributions from Adrian Worthing Councils. Again, they've really been super helpful in uh, helping to make this happen. So thank you. So I have always loved nature. As you can see, um, when I was little, I begged my mum and dad to build a pond in my garden and it was a garden in Southwick, just off the main road that runs through. And I sat by that pond for four hours and I looked at the frogs and the insects and I terrorised them, I'm sure. And I held slow worms and toads and we had hedgehogs and it was a joy. It was a joy for my life. Um, my children, who are five and four, have never held a slow worm and the only hedgehogs they've ever experienced are ones squashed on the road. Uh, the loss of wildlife in my lifetime is, it breaks my heart. And that is why I'm standing here today, because I can't believe what we are all doing to our natural world. Um, and so together, we are going to hopefully find, try and find some solutions to this today. Um, we've lost, we're in the middle of a sixth extinction, so we, we need to work some solutions out. Um, we're here today as activists, volunteers, organisations, businesses and experts to make changes to our lifestyles. Um, the systems that we have created and that are in place have never accounted for our natural world or the resources that we extract from it. Um, and today is about building capacity, partnerships, and taking any ideas and taking ownership for those ideas. We do so much, and I look around this room and there are so many organisations here who are breaking their back to do amazing work around sustainability, but we need more and we need to mainstream this. So today is not just about putting ideas on pieces of paper, it's about standing up and saying, okay, we've got this fantastic idea, how do I build a partnership that's gonna actually make that change? And that's why we come here today. And now I'm going to pass you across to Pauline, who's just going to say a few words on behalf of Transition Town Worthing. Hello, thank you for lowering the microphone, I'm much smaller. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, good morning everybody. As Michelle said, I'm Pauline Corey, one of seven directors of Transition Town Worthing and co-organiser of this conference along with Michelle and Francesca sitting down there. I just want to thank these two wonderful women for accompanying me on this very lengthy journey. It's very exciting for this day to finally arrive. Both of you have been absolutely fantastic to work with. Thank you both very much indeed. So in times of great uncertainty, one needs to find an anchor and hope. 
in the spring of 2009, just coming up to the age of 60, when my daughter was expecting my grandson, I went to a Be The Change Symposium in London in search of hope, solutions, and wanting to make a real difference to our world, a world that this small person was about to enter. A pivotal moment occurred that day, and from that point on, my whole direction began to change. Within weeks of this incredibly inspiring event, I just happened, in inverted commas, to come across a permaculture intro course. It gave me enormous hope and a map for the next phase of my life. I went on to do the Building Sustainable Communities Permaculture Design Course with Brighton Permaculture Trust, and this led me to discover the transition movement. To my astonishment, I found out that our town, our town Worthing, was already a transition town. So, and thank you to the people who started that up, some of whom are in this room today. So I joined immediately, and I've never looked back. Transition gives me community, structure, resources, connection, access to information and people from all walks of life and allows me to be the change I wish to be in the world, to be effective, useful and for all of that I'm extremely grateful. Um, you'll see a video later of Rob Hopkins who was the co-founder of the Transition Movement. So what was really was that intensely pivotal moment, you might wonder, the reason why I'm standing here today. And I'm just going to read you a poem in, in, in a minute that came from that event. This po wonderful Canadian poet stood up on the stage and changed my help to change my life. Um, like Michelle, I spent my entire lifetime in ditches, up trees, in the garden, getting absolutely filthy dirty, and there are so many kids today who don't even know what that looks like. Okay. So, Drew Dellinger, Hieroglyphic Stairway. It's 3.23 in the morning, and I'm awake, because my great, great grandchildren won't let me sleep. My great-great-grandchildren ask me in dreams, what did you do while the planet was plundered? What did you do when the earth was unravelling? Surely you did something when the seasons started failing, as the mammals, reptiles, birds were all dying. Did you fill the streets with protest? when democracy was stolen, what did you do once you knew? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to invite Dan Humphreys to come up and say a few words on behalf of Adrian Worthing Councils. Dan is the leader of the council, so we're lucky to have him. 